When we say health, if someone says you have no ailment, it does not mean you're healthy. When you wake up in the morning, are you feeling alive and bouncy or not? The word health comes from the word whole. You must have a certain sense of wholeness of body, mind, energy and the fundamental nature of your existence. If all these things are in alignment, now when you wake up in the morning, you feel like you're just born. If this happens to you, that means you're healthy. Among the lentils, it is the most protein-rich lentil found on the planet. It's very high-powered, so that's why race horses are fed with this gram, which is called as horse gram today. In the market, it's unfortunately called horse gram. It's called kollu in Tamil and Uruli in other languages, Ululu in Telugu. So, uh, this is a very good thing. It's good to sprout it. If you sprout it, you digest it much more easily. You can keep it in a bowl in your room, take… get one white cloth, put it in that, soak it in the water for about six to eight hours, then tie it in a cloth and keep it closed. In about three days it will sprout. If it's sprouted, you can just eat it raw. If it's come out about half an inch out of the seed, you can eat it raw. It takes a lot of chewing and eating, you chew it and eat it. It's very good. Now this will increase heat in the body. Today's sun is up and suppose today you drink kollu or eat kollu and you feel too much heat, then you must balance it by eating green gram. Sprouted green gram will cool the system. Oh, is this all so complicated? Can't I just eat my meal? <laughs> I'm only asking you to just eat it. I'm not asking you to perform any ritual. But right now, you are just performing the ritual of eating. You are not eating as a human being should eat. If you just go and watch any of the wild animals, they're just chopping, chomp, 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 they're eating. But they're not eating indiscriminately, just like that. They're rejecting what they don't want. They're eating what they want. Just observe a spotted deer, you can see it, it will be grazing. You just see what it eats, what it does not eat. It just knows, just like that. By the feel of it, it knows what to eat, what not to eat for today. Tomorrow it may be eating a leaf that it does not eat today, but today it knows what to eat for its body and for the atmosphere around it. So you also need to develop that a little bit because this is the intelligence of the body. So, uh, consuming this horse gram, will generate heat in the body. If you find it's causing excessive heat, how do you know excessive heat is? You will notice your eyeballs are hot. Or you want to go and pee, you want to pee, it's full but it won't come out, it hurts. That means there is excess heat. Such a thing happens, you just drink some ash gourd juice or eat some green gram or take some castor oil and apply it on, you know, either inside the navel, or the Anahata, the Vishuddhi, this place and these two spots behind the ears, if you apply instantly, within five minutes, the system will cool down, go to the bathroom, everything will happen without effort. So, the body has to be managed. Even now, self-management is happening, but if you consciously manage it, it'll function better. It's as simple as that. If you want to use the system, at a higher dimension of performance, then you have to watch it. Somehow live and die, then nothing matters, eat whatever, no? What does it matter? Even if you eat garbage, you will live. Of all the things a groundnut, you know, I'm particularly passionate about the groundnut because there was a period of my life when I just lived on groundnut and banana, that's all. Because it has everything you need. Just soaked groundnut, one handful, this much of groundnut soaked overnight, one banana. My entire day would go. I'm perfectly active, more active than most people will ever imagine. It has everything to sustain you.
it's a complete food by itself. If you soak it for over six to eight hours, it takes away certain aspects which are called as pitta. You know what's pitta? Allopathic doctors don't look at it. But the Ayurveda is based on this, Ushna, Shita and Pitta. It takes away the Pitta and taking this soaked groundnut, chewing it well and eating. Just make sure it's not some genetically engineered nonsense, whatever. One thing is, it could be genetically modified. They are no more declaring which is modified, which is not. Another thing is, you're pumping in fertilizers and pesticides to such an extent. The groundnut is no more a groundnut. Just make, make sure it's a more organic thing. If you want breakfast, you want a recipe. You take a handful of groundnut, soak it in water for six to eight hours. Put it in the mixie. If you want to add some fruit, you add a banana, whatever you like. Banana goes well, you can add any other fruit. If you want, put some honey into it, two minutes. You have excellent breakfast ready. It takes two minutes to do it. And if you want it little watery, put more water into it and just drink it up. You want it like porridge, you make it thick and you eat it. You will see easily it will keep you for four to five hours and it's highly nutritious.